Welcome back, Brain of Thames episode, what is this, four, five of Spot five. the Line? Wow. Kyle's back. He skipped out on us last week. He's a fucking loser. Dude, but had, No, 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 no. Had to blog the Embiid cat fight. I mean, it was it was content galore. I updated that thing till two in the morning. You're a loser. I don't want to brag about it, but, you know, salt of the earth, hard worker. But two in the morning, up blogging. Yeah, we subbed CO Joe in. Joe's electric, way better than Kyle. I don't know why Joe's not here, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Joe is great. Joe is great. Joe, yeah, it's almost like he runs this joint. It's crazy. Shut, shut, shut the fuck I'm just saying. Um, old, so old man, old man Joey wanted us to mention how how he did last week. Oh yeah, he did like three and two. No one really cares. He's like a billion years old. Moving on. And he did um, also, I heard three and two. Wow, three and two. Yeah, fucking groundbreaking. Not gonna pay um, your child's tuition. I'll tell you. Dan, that. Dan, first time in the history of the show actually won one. Won one a bet. Won one, baby. Mm-hmm. Both time you won a bet. I literally couldn't buy a win. I tried. I tried paying people. I couldn't buy a win. It, it all, yeah. I, made, well, I made my NBA blog about like who to take that night, bro. In twenty NBA games, I was fourteen and six. I was just I was hot. Could, I couldn't lose. Immediately four straight losses, and then I didn't win a football game the entire weekend. Oh, it was man. like that fucking blog ruined me. Marion sucks. Ruined man. me. Re- yeah. Regression kills you, bro. It. I, I had not been talking about how well I was doing in the NBA because for that exact reason, I want to like mush myself. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm just good at this. No. I, t- I blog it, lose everything. And then you immediately mushed yourself, blogged it, like you said, and then you lost everything. So, But Danny, Danny boy, little gambling Dan over there. I heard, uh, I heard through, the, through the Twitter sphere you put a bunch of money on the Ravens money line. Yeah, Ravens. I actually took the three and a half points. I didn't go money line. But that was my – that was – like I'm a fifty dollar better usually. Like that's what I usually put on the game, and I had three hundred on that one. That was Woo! that was like I was very very confident in that I had that game circled a couple of weeks ago because pit pads were due for a loss, and it was just a bad spot. Having said that, in the playoffs they'll probably meet again, and the Pats will probably win. But that's oh. yeah. That's, I mean, it's I I I've been saying this since the year started. I was scared of this game week one. Exactly, it was a spot. It was a spot it's, for I mean, Baltimore. They, it was in Baltimore, coming off a bye. Patriots had been just destroying shitty teams. It, like you said, it was a perfect storm. I definitely thought it was going to be closer than it was. Uh, my dumbass, I was just like, I, I took the Pats money line, or I took the Pats plus minus three and a half. Then it went down to minus three. I took them again, I and then see. and then they're down like ten early. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take Pats like plus three hundred. Obviously, they're going to come back. Then they did, and then Edelman fumbled the ball, and it, you know. it, it, it ended with the Edelman fumble. It did. Yeah, I, game it, was over. Same thing. They were rolling too. Minus three and a half. Then I took it minus three. It's like they're gonna roll. But Dan, I gotta hear more, man. You, you literally kind of you, you, you did. You made fun of me two weeks ago where I say I take all my one o'clocks and I put all my money on one o'clock, my bankroll. And if I <laughs> win all, and if I win some, and I and I and I come out net positive, <laughs> then I put on my four o'clocks. You went four and one last week. And you saw, and you were feeling pretty, and you were feeling good. You're like, you, you, you looked in the mirror and you said, "Hey, nah. Danny, he was a frog. Now he's a prince." Nah, see, that's you the, put all that money on the Ravens, and don't tell me you didn't. I know what I you did. did. That, because I, I already had announced that I was putting all that money on the Ravens before I won the one o'clock games. Whether I won or lost, I knew that was my play. You can't do that. That's a horrible bankroll management. I, I can't, don't. I, I can't condone that for the people. <laughs> I, I, like that. I, I don't believe anything <laughs> you're saying right now. You're but lying, like, but still, yeah. fine. We'll go. Hey. You ridiculed me two weeks ago, and you literally did exactly what I do every Sunday. Because it's horrible bankroll management to wait and see how you do in the early games, and then let that determine what you do in the later games. That's just that's terrible. That you're going to lose the long run if you do that. I said from this. I said from two weeks ago, I was putting a lot of money on the Ravens, no matter what. I knew the Ravens were going to win. All right. I'm just saying, I didn't major in, in finance nor accounting, so I majored in marketing. So that's the dumb guy major. All right. <laughs> I wasn't, I've always put my bankroll on the one o'clock games in the foreground game. Marketing is what athletes major in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, it's that's communications, all right? That's the level ah, down. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> all right. That's, that's, a, respect. that's a step down. That's a step down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into this. Yeah. So, first game, we got Cardinals versus Bucks. Bucks minus four and a half, over under 52. Uh, guys, I've. I took a break from riding my Cardinals. I, I feel like I, just, I stopped taking the Cardinals at the perfect time. Yeah, but I'm back on. Plus four and a half. I might take Cardinals money line. 
I think Cardinals win this outright. The 52, it scares me because I think Jameis might throw 30 picks again and they <laughs> might not score. So I'm going to stay away from the total. I would go under, but Bucks or uh, excuse me, Cardinals plus four and a half. I'm thinking money line, though. That sounds free to me. What do you think, Danny? So I actually I'm staying away from the line from the four and a half because I agree either team could win. Uh, Jameis is kind of one of the weirdest quarterbacks in the NFL. You don't Who's know. Bad? If he's, gone. he's not weird. He's bad. Yeah. No, because I mean, some games will throw for 450 yards, and Mike Evans and Godwin will both have 150 yards receiving, and it's crazy. Uh, other times, he throws five interceptions. But the thing is, neither of these teams play a lick of defense. So this total opened up at 54. It's down to 52 now. So people are taking the under, but I'm not. I'm going to go with the over. Uh, both these teams run uh, pass-first offenses, which pa- teams that run the ball, that drains the clock a little more, so it's a little hard to hit an over. These teams pass the ball a lot. Uh, I think it's just going to be back and forth down the field. Give me over 52 is what I'm taking. I got one rule. I mean, I don't bet Jameis. You know, <laughs> it's a good rule. Probably it's a good rule. rule. Really good rule. Guy, so I don't, I, I don't bet for him. Just like Kirk Cousins, I don't bet for him. So if I had to take the line, which I probably will, I'll take cards uh, plus four and a half. I, I love Kyler Murray. Um, mm. Still waiting for him to really kind of like knock my socks off like Lamar Jackson has. I think they may be next year, um, especially with, with Kingsbury. They're playing pretty good. I mean, they've kind of had some pretty boring games, so I haven't really tuned in. I haven't really watched too much Cardinals. I don't think yeah. I'm going to see much. But uh, plus four and a half there, I love the under. I really do. Um, like I said, I mean, Jameis, I don't bet on him because – did you know the guy needs contacts and he refuses to get contacts? Yeah, dude, Jameis has the same vision that I do. I've been wearing yeah. glasses since I was in fifth grade. Like, like we- anyone, anyone who, like, refuses to – who has a medical condition and, and refuses to get it, like – Revamped, F- fixed. It's it's something so it's so easy. I I I I need to actually order more contacts. It's so easy to wear, use, and put in contacts. That yeah. is like every single NBA player, whether they need them or not, wears contacts. They're all fine. I don't know what the fuck yeah. Jameis' issue is. I got contacts in like fifth grade, yeah. and like I don't I don't know about you, Eddie, or you, Dan, that wear contacts. But like when you first get them, they like make you put them in before you can leave. Yeah, my eye was fucking raw. <laughs> like, well, you're just you're just dumb. That's the big Philly the, ass blockhead move right there. I also, mean, James, James has a, a trillion dollars. He shouldn't have contacts. Yeah. He should just get the LASIK surgery like and, be, and be done with it. It's like five thousand dollars. Like you, that, that's that's James spends that on an Uber ride, or in law, <laughs> or in courts. Well, yeah, well, uh, I yeah I I agree <laughs> with pretty much all of what you said. Um, I I just don't think James. I don't know. I think he's gonna throw a billion picks again. I don't care. Like Patrick Peterson's gonna eat. I think I the Cardinals. I would. I'm gonna take a money line. I'm thinking. Um, though he always goes like good game, bad game, good game, bad game. So it's like London, terrible game. Next game, great game. Next game was last week, bad game. I mean that, that fumble where he literally cocked back and the ball just fell out of his small hands. That was ridiculous. ridiculous. I mean, I I think even if this was a pick 'em, like I like the. I think the Cardinals are better than the Buccaneers. I honestly do, but the the Bucks are sneaky fun team to watch. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because it's funny to laugh at James throwing five picks at night. <laughs> it is. It is. They put up a lot of points too, but I feel like this one's just a weird one where I just I feel it's 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 down in Tampa Bay. What is it one o'clock game? One o'clock game. So. Probably like ninety degrees. Yeah, of course. So it might get. There might be a hurricane. We don't know. You know, it's it's hurricane. You, you know, those Arizona Cardinals aren't used to the heat, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's well, tough. They Wait, wait, no, hold on. They don't believe in daylight savings time either. So yeah, they're very it's super smart. Shout out to Arizona. I yeah. agree. Daylight well, saving time is bullshit. So yeah, stupid. You know, all those farmers out in Arizona that are growing crops in the desert don't yep. believe in daylight <laughs> you know, savings time. They know what they're doing. <laughs> but, uh, so next game, we have Bills versus Browns. Browns are somehow minus two and a half. Total's 40. Total seems low for those two. I think that the under is probably the play. Maybe I would say I don't like that that total at all. I think Bills again. I think Bills are outright winners here. I don't care. Browns are bad. Bills aren't as good as their record shows, but they're not. Yeah, they're, I mean they're better than the Browns though. I'm the branded like bloggers are better than the Browns, so I'm taking <laughs> Bills plus two and a half seems easy. I mean, we did have some tryout videos that. I, I mean, I again I say it every week. There's a fucking rocket launcher attached to my hip. Yeah, so we've got a tape. Yeah. So Dan, before you go, I'm yep. a trend guy, big trend guy. So first off, first off, forty is way too low for me. So 
I'm going to bet the over. If you if you dare me to bet the over, I will bet the over. And 40 in a football game, I feel like, should never be a total, nor will I ever root for that total. So I will automatically bet over. But on my trend play, since 1989, so Eddie, before you were born, way before I was born, 15 in 1989, um, teams with at <laughs> least a 750 winning percentage versus teams posting a 250 winning percentage. So 750 Bills winning percentage. 250 Browns are three and 10 against the spread. So teams with a 75% winning percentage are three and 10 against the spread. A whopping sample size of 13 games there. That's 30 right. years, Dan. Yeah, 13 30. games in 30 years. Dan. That's, a, rid- that's a ridiculous That's trend. so dumb. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said. And you've said so many dumb things. Thing. I'm just saying. That, I'm just saying. You say dumb stuff all the time. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said. <laughs> That's Browns, baby. That's Browns. That's what it is. Listen, Dan remembers when that – who's that guy from Miami? The guy who had a bunch of concussions. And he went to uh, – the guy who played for the Browns, the quarterback. Uh, yeah, killing me. The guy on the Browns and Dolphins? Yeah. I uh, don't know. Edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys are fucking losers. <laughs> Browns minus two and a half. That'll come back to me. Browns minus two and a half. Total over 40 just because you're just, you're just daring me to bet it. I'm going to bet it. I'm taking it too. I'm taking the Browns. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a definite buy low on the Browns. The public thinks that they're trash. And they kind of are. They're not good. Uh, but in this particular spot at home against the Bills, the Bills have beaten nobody. They have a pretty decent record, 6-2. and two. It looks all great. They, the, the teams they've beaten are worse than the Browns. Uh, we saw, I saw firsthand, you did too, we're Eagles fans. We got to see how bad the Bills are up close and personal. Yeah. Uh, they're they're going to go into the dog pound on the road in Cleveland. They're going to lose this game. I'm taking Cleveland. I'm, take, I'm laying the two and a half. It's, they want people to want the Bills here, and I'm not going to fall for it. And it was Bernie Kosar, by the way. The, the, oh, the, the I see, yeah. right, I'm not that old. I'm a little bit before, <laughs> that's a little bit before my time. That's, that that sounds like a lie. You don't have to answer. What? You don't have to answer. How old were you in 1989? Three. Okay. <laughs> you guys are a billion years old. It's insane. What? Whoa, fuck out of here. <laughs> Kyle's like the second youngest person at Brandon, but he is still a billion. I did not know how old Brandon is. I mean, there's... Yeah, just... dude, I thought I signed up with Brandon. Thing. Oh, you know, it's a bunch of people my age. No, you're all 30 with, like, families yeah. and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Jesus Christ. We're going to be cashing Social Security dude. checks before paychecks. Ridiculous. Uh, so that's actually, I think that's our first like majorly differing point. I have Bills, you have Browns, yeah, you both are dumb, so I feel like the Bills are winning. <laughs> Ravens minus ten versus the Bengals. Totals forty four and a half. I I I want to go Ravens. I want to go Ravens. And I want to go them really hard. I don't. Yeah, he loves favorites. Eddie he hates favorites. Favorite, he loves. I favorites. just took two. <laughs> Underdogs? What are we talking about? <laughs> if you see, you see the record. You see the Bills' record. You're like, oh, come on, plus two and a half. You're giving me points. I, I said the Bills are not as good as their record, but they're better than the Browns. Yeah, but you saw. You look at the record, like six and two, two and six. Oh, I mean, that's the Cardinals almost... have like three wins. What are we talking about? Kyle's the one that pulled out some ridiculous thirteen-year-old right, friend. <laughs> Bernie oh, fucking oh, goes our stat. He loses. It was the thirty-year-old stat, please. You're a you're. Oh, fucking hate you. Ravens minus 10 versus the Bengals is not even like the fact that this is even taught. We shouldn't even have this as a discussion. This minus 10, obviously, 44 and a half. I might, I think I like the over in that game. 44 and a half, I like the over. Lamar, just so we're clear, when we first started doing this, Dan did not, was not a fan of young Lamar Jackson, and he just put a three piece on him last week. Mm, just saying, kind of. Yeah. Kind of hurts your uh, your reputation there, Dan. You talk shit about my guy Lamar. Put three hundred on Lamar. He makes a bunch of money. I'm just saying. He's your guy. He's your guy. I thought you were the Pats guy. I can have guys and still be a fan of the Patriots. Not when they're just, not, not just when they're your rival. The Ravens are not the Patriots' rival. They're a rival. They're they're How? they're because they're all, they haven't they're, been good in like ten years. They're not a rival. They, they played in the playoffs the a lot. Bowl, like. They suck. What are you talking about? On the Super Bowl like seven years ago. And that's yeah, seven, ten, same number. They're not our rival. So let me let, all right, let me explain something to you about this game. The oh. they had that game Sunday night against the Patriots. They won. 
I knew they were going to win. I called it. But and they they and they celebrated. They celebrated. Dan like wins a, one fucking game. That was big dick Dan over here. The guy hasn't won a game in a month, and now Danny he's fucking Gambles, baby. Danny gambles. Right. So so they, so they win the game and they celebrate like they won the Super Bowl. Next week they have another home game against the Texans, who are a good team, and they're going to be looking forward to that. In between those two home games against good teams, they have to go on the road to Cincinnati, play the shitty Bengals. Their focus is not going to be on blowing the Bengals out. Their their focus is going to be on getting off the bus, eking out a twenty to seventeen or a twenty to fourteen win, and then getting the hell out of there. There's no reason for them to keep a foot on the pedal in this one. Bengals are coming off a bye. They have a new quarterback. We saw even last week with the Broncos with Brandon Allen. Like when a new quarterback comes in, even if he's not particularly good, the first game the other team doesn't really have any tape on him. Uh, I do think that the Ravens will probably win the game. But I think that 10 points is a lot. I'm thinking, like, I do think this is going to be like a 20 to 14, 2017 kind of win. And I'm all over the Bengals this week. Love it. Love it, Dan. Incorrect. Exactly what I was thinking. They got the Rams, the Texans, and the 49ers sandwiched in between the the Bengals. It's a division game. Given 10 to a division rival, no matter if they're 0 and 8 or or 8 now. Kind of. It's it's easy to forget that these teams don't give a shit about the spread. Their job is to win the game. They're. They have no desire to come into uh, to Cincinnati and play really, really hard for the entire the entirety of the game. They just want to get the hell in, get the win, and get out. Yeah. The and Ravens they- are fighting for a first-round bye. The Ravens are like the trailblazers in the NBA. They are going to try very hard every regular season game. That's how they are. What about They're the- going to try to win this game by 50. They're not going to. They're going to try. Lamar is, has, whether deservingly or not, has made himself an MVP candidate. He is going to put That's numbers up. I, I, I mean, I, would, I, I wouldn't say he's top three or anything yet. People are saying that. That's what Who's I meant by that. Three? Who's your top huh? three? Who's your top three? I would say at this point it's probably Rodgers, Wilson, and McCaffrey in no particular order. I think Wilson, Wilson's yeah. my front runner, though. Yeah, I'd say well, right now, well, I, Wilson is the front Wilson runner. Yes. Wilson and Jackson are clearly the top two, and I still think like if Mahomes comes back and smokes it the rest of the way, I don't, I wouldn't count him out. I think Mahomes has missed too many games. Yeah, yeah, three, two, two, two games. Yeah, two games is a lot, and I think it's going to give him another game to get back into it. But fuck, it, before we go on this tangent, yeah. So Ravens, like I said, they're the Trailblazers. They're trying hard. This is what they do. This is what Harbaugh does. If he has such a hard on for looking good in the regular season, so that like ESPN and everyone can like all the Ravens, you know, they might upset, they might make a play. Blah, blah, blah. The Ravens are fighting for a first round bye. Kansas City is out of the first round. You know, they get the, they, they they don't get points for winning by a lot of points. Like they, they're going to get no, that first round. Wait, bye. This team, like I said, they're the Trailblazers. They want to beat everyone by a billion because they think that matters. I thought this was for, the tiebreaker goes for goal differential. <laughs> so wait, what did they when when they oh, played when, when they played these same Bengals at home a couple weeks ago and only won by six? Were they were they the, the Trailblazers then too? Yeah, they were just not as good. They, <laughs> they no had a bad game. Ever, no Everyone's got a bad game. No one has not only ever compared the Portland Trailblazers with the Baltimore Ravens, they... but no one has ever made a comparison for the Portland Trailblazers. You like, you know what? The Dallas Stars, they look great this year. They're like the Portland Trailblazers. <laughs> No. They play hard every game. If you knew exactly what I meant when I said the Trailblazers are the only, like one of the only teams that try every single regular season game. They try to beat you by a billion every night because they think that matters. They want to get the three seed, and then they want to get knocked out in the first round. It happens every year. It's going to happen again this year. The Trailblazers and the Ravens are the exact same team. That's... Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I think we should just move we should move on. Yeah, we got. We got to go. Think, yeah. I think I just dropped a big brain knowledge bomb on you, yeah, Billy Dum Dums, yeah. and now we got to move on. You dropped Panthers. Off. Panthers are going to Green Bay, minus five and a half. I. Every time I bet against the Packers, I lose. I know. I won't, I, I'm taking the Panthers my, plus five and a half. I think the Panthers might win this outright. I'm not going to bet money line. Uh-huh. Panthers plus five and a half. Kyle, you said in the group chat earlier, McCaffrey's going to have a billion yards tonight. Yes. Or uh, that night. Yeah. I, 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 the Panthers scarred me. I took them I, I took the money line against the, the, the Niners. And, me too, uh, too. That's why I'm not touching this game. Oh, yeah. It's, I, I, I hate <laughs> to say it. 
bleep this out if you got to. I got I got battered woman syndrome, man. Like it's just it, I, I can't I can't take the Panthers my, plus five and a half. I think McCaffrey might have two hundred and fifty all purpose yards, but like I took the Panthers money line, then I took them on the second half, and that and that just imploded against the 49ers. Yeah, they'll do that. So I, I just don't think that I don't like for for the Ron Rivera teams that were always good defensively. This one is the complete opposite. It is it is literally Christian McCaffrey and go. I think Kyle Allen's for real. Um, I don't think he's ever going to be a pro bowler. If he is, it's going to be because, you know. Mr. Some, Risky is a pro bowler. Yeah, so. exactly. It's going to, like, the pro bowl is a crapshoot. He'll never be an all pro. Sure. But he'll, he'll, do, he'll do Matt Moore. He'll be a pro Matt bowler Matt. because the first eight quarterbacks selected in the pro bowl will choose not to go. Yeah. So then, yeah. They'll, then they'll go to him yeah. and they'll be like, all right. That's why Andy, as well. Andy, yeah. Dalton's, Andy Dalton's been in three pro bowls for that reason. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I'm getting my call later <laughs> tonight, I think. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I mean, if I had to, I would lean Panthers five and a half. But then you got Packers coming off a loss to the Chargers. Yeah, this one, this one's a tough game. I think um, I think the Packers are a better Chargers. They're fake oh, good. Yeah. I, they're I fake. Think they're Packers, fake good. They're just Aaron Rodgers really? is better than Philip Rivers. I disagree. I, I think the Packers are like last time Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl was a top ten defense. And this defense is for real. The the, the run game's a little much. They're not that good. But Aaron they, Jones isn't good, huh? Aaron Jones isn't good. No, 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 no. The running defense. Sorry. Oh, okay, got you, got you, got you. But I mean, Aaron Jones is a monster. Yeah, you're monster. exactly. Jermaine Allison is a monster. But it's like, is uh, what's his face? The guy who's out with a toe injury, uh, Demonte Adams. He's back, but they're still saying he's not himself. So it's like not 100. percent So it's like it's this one. If I had to, Panthers five and a half. If I had to, Panthers five and a half. But for me, this is I want to I want to not wager on this game. And I want to see the Panthers do well because I want to know that you can trust them on the road against a, a pretty decent team, which what we saw in that game that we keep talking about, the Niners game, they just got blown out of the water. So this is their chance to redeem themselves for that. Yeah, The Niners being for real just like fucks in my head. Yeah. No, it, it does. Uh, we'll talk about that one in a couple of times. Yeah. So the Panthers, last time I bet on the Panthers was against the Bucks, where they lost at the goal line. The night uh, it was Cam's like last game, I think it was right. Yeah, it was the what did they lose against the Bucks. Yeah, like week two or three. It was like a Thursday night game, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. That was the last time I bet the Panthers. This is their redemption night. Plus five and a half. I don't think. I mean, I think I could see them winning, but I can't see them losing by a touchdown. Yeah. And next, yeah. next up. Oh, are we doing over under? What do we think with the over under that game? Forty seven. Not touching anything about that game. I lost on that one. Same. That's going to be like 17 to 10 or 30 to 25. This is an important lesson that everyone watching needs to know. It's okay to not not bet bad on something. If you don't have a feel either way, it's okay to not wager. Unless you want to bet on the 1 o'clock games, then you have to do that. <laughs> you, have to, you have to take you all have your bankroll and you have to put it all Every game and every over under. Every single week, week yes. <laughs> if you win that, then you bet Sunday night game. If you win yeah. that, you bet the Monday night game. No, you always bet the money night game. He don't send him about. You always bet the money night game. Uh, Vikings, Cowboys, Cowboys are minus three. You said Thielen's out, right? Yeah. So I, 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 I kept betting against the Vikings. They kept just kicking my ass. I bet on the Vikings twice. They don't cover the under hits. I bet the over. It's a whole fucking thing. I'm gonna Vikings bet the or Panthers. I'm so I hate the fucking Vikings so much. Like, be Kirk Cousins, be bad every week or be good. Just stop being good and then bad. What the oh, fuck? He's, pretty, he's very predictable. He when he's against a bad team, he's good. When he's against a good team, he's bad. It's very. That's a great and, point. He, That's a great point. I don't know if the Cowboys are good or bad. Dude, and and I I, I completely true. agree with you. And that's the exact same way. These are two quarterbacks that play well against really really bad teams and play meh against good teams. So you have no idea who's gonna show up tonight. Or no, the Cowboys, night. if they played any other team on my, last Monday night when they played the Giants, they lost that game. Oh, they played because they played the fucking Giants. Yep. They lost. And that fucking or they, they cat, won it. Excuse that me. That fucking black cat had to come on the field and ruin it. Oh, everything. that, dude, that yeah. black cat made me so much money. Shout out to that cat. <laughs> I hope that cat's good. Shout out to Allie. She's on the hunt to find the cat. Uh yeah. So I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Vikings, because either the Vikings win and I make money, or the Vikings lose. And the Cowboys are going to take the division. I want to see all the Philly guys cry. So, so you win either way. It's a win-win. Right. So either, either I mush the Cowboys or I win money. 
I think the, Black Cat the, the, the Vikings are a win money. So the one I'm not touching this game in terms of putting my money on it. The one thing I will say is like it's kind of a 50 50 game. Like either team could win. So in that case, take the Vikings money line because you're getting some plus money on it. It's like, it, tech, like if, if it's a 50 50 game, which I think it is, and you take a, the, the underdog in the money line, like over the long run, you'll win. But like, like Cousins has, hasn't looked good without Thielen. It allows defenses to really focus on digs and who else they got, like, like Quan Treadwell and uh, BC Johnson. These guys aren't good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually talking myself into the Cowboys here, but I'm not. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stay away. Stay away completely. Uh, it's going to be a fun game because they're both teams that are in the playoff race. So it, you can enjoy watching football without yeah. money on it. Sunday night uh, and Monday night Kirk games. So, like, I, 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 you know my role. I don't bet on Kirk Cousins. I don't bet on Kirk Cousins when he plays the Eagles and he absolutely tortures us. I don't bet <laughs> on Kirk Cousins when he loses last week against the Seahawks and doesn't cover. Or not the Seahawks, the Chiefs and doesn't cover. So I'm not betting on him tonight. So uh, Cowboys minus three. And I think this total is an easy over. Uh, 47 and a half is a weird number. Usually, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a shootout. Um, Dak looked absolutely terrible. On he looked well, awful and still put up 30 yeah, on the fucking but, Giants. I mean, that that was, I mean, that over hitting is one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's. If you had the, if you had the under, you should not have to pay your bookie. You should you should literally write if you're listening to this and you had the under, write a letter to Roger Goodell. I heard he's going to repay everyone on Venmo. I, I did hear that, yeah. Good guy, Roger Goodell. That piece mm-hmm. of fuck really guy. good guy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, again, Vikings plus three. Make money or make the Eagles cry. You win yeah. one. Cowboys minus three. You know what Kyle's going to do? If he wins during the afternoon, he's going to go big on the Cowboys. And if, if he loses, he's going to chase on the Cowboys. What do you think, Dan? What do you, do, Kyle, I don't want you answering this. Let's let's say Kyle wins a bunch of the one o'clock games and he goes big on the Cowboys. Do you think he wants to win the money, or do you think he wants the Eagles to take first in the division? Well, I think that people in general who use that that tactic, where when you win, you go big on the next game, there's a subconscious thing where you just want to lose all your money. Yeah, well, they're dumb. <laughs> um, but no, you can't. But you, you definitely can't put your team winning the division. You can't like that impact your decision. Like if you think if you're an Eagles fan, but you think the Cowboys are going to win big, you still got to bet the Cowboys. Well, they still. I mean, even if they lose, they still have the tiebreaker, so they're still first in the division. Correct. Right. Right. Sure. Uh, sure. You can win sure. money, but so but you, kind of yeah, kind of money? betraying the tribe, Kyle. Yeah, regardless, kind of betraying the tribe is all I'm saying. I'm not betraying the tribe. Money's Sounds green. Like you're kind of betraying the tribe. I don't know. Raider Raiders just got a pick on the first drive of the game. Yeah, dude, Philip Rivers sucks. <laughs> wait, who did that? 37 kids need to retire. Wait, wait, those at home. Wait, one, two, three. What did Eddie bet? You said Chargers, you win. I, what did I say Chargers, you win? I feel like you bet the Chargers. No, I never bet the Chargers. <laughs> the Chargers good. People at home thought you bet the Chargers. I don't recall that. I never bet the Chargers. You got I might like, pick the Chargers. I never bet the Chargers. They're fake. Yeah. So you have the Raiders tonight? No, I oh, stayed no. far away from this fucking. I stayed away from this game. I stayed so far away from. I I was looking at the line before we started recording. I'm like, I'm not gonna. I can't. I'm yeah. like, no, no matter who I took, I was not making money. Eddie, I'm proud of you. That's a that's a smart gambling move. You didn't like anything. You you didn't bet it just to bet it. That's a smart move. I go every single game. I do the same thing. I look at the lines. I go with my gut. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes I lose money. Sometimes I just don't. I stay away from it. I yeah yeah. Get Sorry, the Raiders are two bad teams with a minus one and a half line that I was staying far the fuck away from. Okay, get this. Dude. There's a flag. No 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 uh, interception. Bill Perver still sucks. Just so we're clear, <laughs> he does stink. Uh, Seahawks Niners. Is that the Monday night game? Yeah, this oh, is we're awesome. all aboard. We're all aboard the same. I think. What a fucking Monday night game. I don't know if we are. I don't know I, if we are either. I think I might be against you. I no, just I'm with you did. Go so, ahead. Eddie, it's in off. San Fran, right? Yes, it's in San Fran. Oh, so, that is good too. I think, I, no, I, okay, dickhead. I think, <laughs> just so we're clear, I'm taking the Seahawks. I, I think Niners ah, win. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not. We're not on win. the team. I think Niners win. I think they win by like three, though. I think the Seahawks are good. I think Wilson is going to win the MVP. The Niners aren't going undefeated, they are going to lose eventually. This is one of the best teams they're playing the rest of the year. This could be the night. I also, I really like uh, the over 47. 
I, yeah, kinda, you, I got a stat that'll blow your mind once you're done. Okay. I'm, well, go ahead. All right. So I am taking the Niners. I think this line is designed to make everyone look and be like, oh, the Seahawks are good and Russell Wilson's MVP and they're getting six. I'm going to take the dog. And I think they're going to get smoked. The Niners have just been trucking teams all year. Uh, the, in the games where they didn't truck people, one of them was that Washington game that was played in a month soon. That yeah, they that won. game doesn't count. That game doesn't it's, count. I mean, they, 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 they almost covered. I mean, the spread was nine. They just, just pushed. They do, they dominated last week against Arizona, and then they kind of took their foot off the pedal and forgot to play the fourth quarter. Arizona came back and covered. But they've just been crushing people. Uh, dude, I think the Seahawks are they are not a bad team, but I think they're pretty fraudulent. And I think that from now through the rest of the season, I'm going to look to bet against them. Uh, they've been winning games by a very by small amounts. They've been getting a little bit lucky, barely beat the Browns, barely beat the Rams, barely beat the Bengals. I think this is one of those games that people are, are going to expect a close divisional game, and the Niners are just going to truck them. I'm um, on the Niners minus six, anywhere up to a touchdown. I'll take it. You ready for this one? Let's hear it. I'm Since 2007, it. undefeated teams in week 10 or later are 7 and 14 against the spread. Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll is also 4 0 and 1 against the spread in his last five contacts, contests shit, as a road dog. And eight and one against the spread in his last nine, getting six plus points. So I, I mean, I, 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 I mock trends a lot. I, that that the first trend you gave is actually a relevant trend because it makes sense. It makes sense because teams are overvalued. Over nine when I was negative four. The, the <laughs> but no, I'm going to see on. I, I uh, think six and a half is a lot of points for a division. What- that's what they want you to think. They want you to take the, the Seahawks. Okay, so so then why'd you take Cincy my, plus 10 against the Ravens then? Talk that shit, Kyle. Because it kind of, it's actually, that's kind of my point. They want, everyone, everybody just saw how the Ravens manhandled the Patriots. Everyone's going to be on the Ravens. They want you on right. the Ravens there. So I'll, I, will, I, will, I will fade the public all day. Every day. You, say, you say you fade the public, and every week you take the public side in almost every bet. That's false. That's not false. Check the fucking tape. You you're, look fading, at the... you're fading the trendy dog, and then you're going on the. You're pit, also the trendy dog. you're the one who loves trends. I hate trends. Well, I don't like that's Kyle's the trend guy. I'm the you, trend you're, guy. You're the sack guy. Look at me. Fashion trends. Betty. <laughs> you look like you look like you found like a 1985 GQ magazine that a homeless guy was using as a bed, and now you're fucking <laughs> running around in this trash ass suit that doesn't. Even you bum. If anyone needs a financial broker, ask someone else. I majored in marketing. He looks like he's about to go to a Kappa Alpha semi-formal. Yeah, you're such a bro. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I, you guys are both on Seattle. I'm on San Fran. Total, whatever the hell you want to do. I don't fucking know. It's 47. Monday night's a crapshoot. Yeah, I, anyway. like, I don't care about the total year, but I would lean toward any side on the over there. I do. All right. I over a lot there. Since you guys love doing this, we have five minutes. Throw out any other picks you got because this is because anyone that hasn't, you know, anyone's watching this and has made it this far, Kyle wakes up every Sunday morning and Kyle makes the graphic. And Kyle loves looking at the last five minutes when Eddie's throwing out six different picks and Dan's throwing out 17 different picks. And you got Joe Pop last week throwing out eight picks and he's locking, he's teasering, and he's everything. Listen, that was ridiculous. Yeah. The Joe fuck Paul's the worst human being I've ever met. Teasing games. When the fuck could we start teasing games? That's Dan's <laughs> fault. That's Dan's fault. I've never teased a game in my life. I will That's tease true. games if I, if I like to tease games. Well, if, you want, if, you want to tease the game, if you want to tease the game, tease that Seahawks game. Get it to seven. Keep, keep the graphic easy for me. Bye. But anyway, I don't want to take away from you guys. What else you got? Anything? Uh, I, I have a lock. I have a lock of the week. Okay. I'll put the little lock uh, emoji next to it. A lock. I, I don't know where Pittsburgh's getting all this love from, but Rams minus three and a half. I don't care where the game is being played. Rams minus three and a half versus the Steelers is free money. <laughs> it is free money. You put, is, you put your on. paycheck on Rams minus three and a half. I do lean that. I'm not going to play that game, but if I if someone put a gun in my head and made me, I would agree with you. I would play that side. Were the Rams going off a bye? Yes. I, I, love so. ten, I love 10 days to prepare. For the Steelers. Mike Tomlin hasn't won a challenge in like five years. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that guy's an Mike idiot. Tomlin. Mike Tomlin can coach. I mean, I think, I think anyone that had any kind of 
like a surprise. Like the fact that they're what a, a two games out of first. He's a rah rah coach. He's there's rah rah coaches and there's X's and O's coaches, and he, he's he's a rah rah coach. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. He's won Super Bowl. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but like. I mean, they're two games out of first, and, and they shouldn't even be Mason. He's making Mason Rudolph win. James Conner. They, they want a James game with Connor Duck. Is still out. Mason Rudolph. I don't care what anyone says. He's still concussed. Yeah. They have no wide receiver core other than Juju. I don't believe in that defense. I think the Rams. They're going to get third in that division. I still think they're good. I think the NFC West might be the best division in football. The Rams minus three and a half is for, off of a bye. Is free. This is. This is the Patriots Ravens game, except for the Patriots are good. <laughs> well, I. What do you got, Dan? What do you got that you don't have? You don't say lock, but what's your lock? You know. So, I mean, my favorite play of the week is Cincinnati that we already talked about. The only thing that I'm on that we haven't mentioned yet is I'm going to take the uh, the New Orleans Saints team total over 31 and a half. They're home against Atlanta. Atlanta's defense sucks. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to take New Orleans, just New Orleans, not the game, just the New Orleans team total over 31 and a half. And that's it for me for this week. So Dan's lock is the team total over 31 and a half. You heard it here first. Uh, my lock is um, Cincy plus 10 Ravens against the Ravens. Cincy yeah. plus. That's my that's my favorite play too. So we're, I was we're going, I wasn't going, going to bring I wasn't going to bring the game up, but since Dan brought it up, I actually like Raven or uh, Saints minus 13 and a half to cover. It's a lot of points, but I would it's also lock that way. It's a lot of points. I think the Saints are for real. I think Dan Quinn might be one of the worst coaches in the NFL, and I think the sure. Falcons might be one of the worst teams in the NFL. 38-20 final score of that game. Just make sure that uh, yeah. Dan Quinn is in a former uh, assistant coach on uh, Sean Payton's staff so he doesn't conspire with the coach before to not um, blow him out. Uh, like, I got fucked in that Pete Carroll-Dan Quinn game. Ah, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Do we have any other picks? Any, any closing remarks? LSU over Bama this weekend. I know we're not doing college football, but that just I like good. that pick. I like that pick. Show college game day guides. It's a fun game. I'm pumped for that. Uh, shout out to college game the game game day guide. They're hooking us up. I need Dan. To- Dan, you got you got PSU. Eddie, you got Ohio State. I got Auburn. Yeah, Eddie. One of us has a very good chance to win. No, one of us has a very good chance of winning. One of us. Whoever wins the Penn State Ohio it's, State game. It's the one with hair. Let's get, one, you guys, let's get you guys in a room together. Live stream that bad boy. Nah, I mean, I'm, going to, I'm going to Atlanta regardless. I do, will appreciate it when Game Day Guide comps me for my, my plane tickets after I, me and the great Ohio State University are attending the Peach Bowl. And he's going to be first class. Oh. Oh, yeah. A little hot tail action? I don't see. You know, a little champagne that never hurt anyone. Like, sorry, Game Day Guide. All I could find was first class. It was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I think it was three grand. It makes no sense to me, but. What are you going to do? Shout out game day, guys. Shout out game Shout day, out. guys. Um, oh, I had a great sign-off last week. What was it? Bet irresponsibly. Yeah, it was good. Is that what it was? Man, that was... Dude, if, if you would have had that right off the cuff, man. That oh, was, I like, fucking wish. I couldn't remember. I've been telling last like five minutes. Ready? 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 One, two, three. Bet irresponsibly. <laughs> I hate I hate this show. I hate All right. So much. All right. Good luck betting. See you next week.